Okay. Is it good? Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh my gosh. Gillette, we just got way better. How? It just, with this, it's amazing. No way. We can't, we can't. Are you ready to try it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it tastes so much better. This like sweet at the bottom kind of balances out the sweetness of this one because this was like pure sweetness. Isn't that tasty? because we will be having authentic Indian street food and sweets. And this place is called Royal Sweets and Chat and they got live food stations, guys. We're gonna see jalebis made from scratch. We're gonna see chole batura from scratch, guys. And to talk about the sweets, they have over 50 different authentic Indian sweets, guys. I cannot wait to get into it. And I got my professional dessert taster, Alfonso, and I think he's excited to try some sweets. Alfonso, are you excited to try some sweets? Yeah. All right, guys, let's go have some Indian street food and sweets at the Royal Sweets and Chats. All right, guys, so here they have, hello. Here they have, so, look at this huge place. This is huge. They got a live Pani Puri station over here. And then what draws me in is the smell in here. It just smells like ghee. And I think they're gonna make the jalebi in that. So let's go. Basmati rice, and then they got all this. This is like a full-blown everything you can think of. Whatever you're in the mood for, you can come here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, there is over 50 different authentic Indian sweets. Whoa. I think Alfonso's excited. He's so excited, he's got hiccups. <laughs> yeah, I got hiccups more. Yeah, <laughs> but guys, look at all this. They have like things I've never even like heard about before. I mean, these even look like um like a jalebi, but they're not. It's called mava poti chor ladu. This is a jalebi. Oh, that is a jalebi. Yes. And those, uh, jalebi. Oh, sorry. I keep saying jalebi. It's not jalebi. It's gulab jamun. <laughs> I, got it, I got it confused. I'm just so excited because if you take a look right over there, guys, that is where they're going to be making that jalebi. And that is literally all I'm thinking about in this moment. <laughs> but the gulab jamun is here. There's also a there's also a kalasa. Look at this. Oh, it's heavy to pick up. What's that? It's like moti chor ladu. Like, I have no idea. I, I feel like, I don't know any other culture that has so many different kinds of desserts. Like, in America, I can only think of, you know, like chocolate bars, ice cream. Oh, yeah. But in Indian culture, so many different kinds. Like, this even has silver on it, cashew custard. We can eat silver. Look at this green, run, green one. And maybe it's just like a different color. Bombay halwa, guys. 
which reminds me, we are gonna be in Mumbai very, very soon. You guys don't wanna oh. miss it. I am so excited. Oh. I just can't wait to go into the hustle and bustle and like feel alive because that's what India is like. It just makes you come to life. Look, huh. do you remember we, we um, ate, uh, which one was? The, the burfi, the burfi one you liked. Yes. We, we, we ate a bofi one. Yeah, you love that. After we made that snack video, I think Alfonso ate that like the whole week. Yeah, <laughs> like the whole thing in one day. So there's a lot of different ones. Anger, burfi, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Date roll, Date ca roll. cashew, we've had that one too. Yeah. Cashew pista roll. Oh, this looks interesting. Look, hmm? this rainbow. That's called color rasgulla. Like a little, um, rainbow. And oh. then the last over here, look at this one, Badana. Badana. It, Badana. Badana. It, it almost looks like, you know, little flakes of that jalebi, but with different colors. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this watermelon delight. That looks, that looks so delightful. Yes, and there's a silver on it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to try all 50. We're gonna try our best. He's excited. And I'm actually not really sure if these desserts are like famous all around India or just in the north. This restaurant also has South Indian food. Oh, you guys can it's let me Penny know in the Puri. comments. Oh yeah, there's a live Penny Puri station. Let's open this up. What do we have? Uh, Check it out. Thing. Check it out. Woo, looking good. Ooh. We just need the filling and then we'll be good to go. Yeah. You got the two kinds of uh, chutneys there. And then the crispy. Panty pole. They already put the hole in it. Super cool. Um, and then guys, come over here because I was, I was actually impressed that they had the Indo-Chinese options here. Yes, but they have some snacks. And look over here. I mean, you can literally eat all day here. Casta kachori, dal kachori. Those samosa, samosas look Zem very samosa, good. Samosa. Batawa wada. That's like Batman. Bread pakoda, onion pakoda, pakoda murchi pakoda. Ooh, we have tried murchi pakoda. Yeah, and then got the puff. Oh, Rajuta's Kitchen is bringing in fresh um, oh, breads. So I know, Alfonso has been saying since the beginning that we walked in, he wanted the roast lassi. I like lassi. Uh, I don't know what this is. Chorafali. Chorafali. It looks like chips. It looks really yummy. Like, I like that crunchiness. Yeah. Dry kachori. I guess some snacks. Fresh garlic chutney. Masala peanuts. Yummy. <coughs> oh, yeah. And then the owner of the store was telling oh. me that there's some sort of dried noodles here called Look. Fenny, Fenny, Penny. And um, they use it for prayer. I don't know how that's prepared, but that's very interesting. That looks yummy. Yeah, I know. And then we got some um, other snacks over here. Oh wow, guys, oh it's like an all, like the whole India is right in this store, guys. Royal Sweets and Chat. Are we ready to get into yeah. it? Yes, and I am starving. And I think he is ready to be cooking. He is ready. To be cooking. <laughs> Let's start eating. Okay, guys, as mentioned, we are going to have some classic Indian street food here, and they're going to show us how they prepare it in the back, but what we're going to get is the Dahi Sev Puri, guys. This is such a bomb of flavor. I never say no to Pani Puri, and like, I just love this dish. And then we're going to have the Samosa Chat. Then we're going to have one Vada Pao, Mumbai's famous burger, but then we're going to have one Dabeli. And I, when I think of Dabeli, I think of uh, that street food video in Mumbai. It was really good there. <laughs> I cannot wait to go back. And uh, so guys, we're gonna go into the back of the kitchen. We're gonna start with the savory and then we're gonna finish with the sweet. Yay! All right guys, we're heading in the back of the kitchen of the Royal Sweets and Chat. We're gonna see how they put together all of our Indian street food. Okay guys, I'm here with the owner. His name is Vivek. Thank you for bringing us in. Thank you. <laughs> So what are we making here? It, now we are making the papdi chaat. It's the most popular, uh, you can say, the chaat dish, side cake that we are making now. Mm. So what is that? Like a crispy? Uh, it's a, you can say, the fried one, just cracker, ah, fried okay. cracker. 
on the topping we add some chutneys the sauces the sweet one the spicy one onion potato like this mm. and uh, serve to customer is this a north indian dish it's a north indian dish papdi oh, chaat wow yes so very popular street food dish then. yes ma'am like oh. a samosa chaat kachori chaat pani puri dahi sev puri with Ooh. that uh, this is most popular thing that looks so good yes ma'am Wow, this looks amazing. I can't wait to get into it. So many different kinds of chutneys too. And then what's that little? It's a chaat masala. Oh, okay. Just like a black salt, this is a green chili. Oh, okay. Red chili powder. And this is a save or for the topping for Ooh. the increase the taste. Yes. Yes, and the garnishing is a cilantro. Very it's nice. It's ready. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can't wait to eat it. First one. <laughs> All right, guys, that's just one out of many. <laughs> As mentioned, guys, we are at the Jalebi station. Whoa. I was so excited about this when I came in here. Look at that. Nice swirls. And again, we had this in the streets of the Chadni Chowk, and it was so, so cool. Very famous. Yeah. And Alfonso likes Jalebi too, right, Alfonso? Yeah. Love it. This is a huge pot of oil, guys. And it's extremely hot and it's always ready to go. So if you want some like fresh hot jalebis, you come to the Royal Suites and chat. Alfonso, can you even see it? Here, hold on. I cannot. No. Oh. Okay. Okay, you're holding <laughs> you're holding my arm. He's getting too heavy, guys. <laughs> so this is going to be like a baked sweet and then I believe it's dipped into a syrup, guys. Oh, I like syrup. Of course you like syrup. I think it's the same syrup they use for the gulab jamun. I think so. <laughs> wow, guys, they must make so many jalebis here a day. Also wanted to point out that you can even take some of these desserts that are right behind me, all 50 of them, put them in a to-go box and like send them off to family. That's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. And then you can keep and uh, you can give it to all your families and then you can eat with them yeah you can even take some for yourself yay <laughs> okay guys we're gonna watch these jalebis they are looking good yes. and now they're gonna go <coughs> dip into the syrup and like soak it all in fresh hot jalebi that looks extremely... Whoa. So that's how it got its color. I thought for some reason it just got cooked and that's how it got its color, but no, it's syrup. There it is, guys. That's yummy. That is extremely yummy. We're going to have some, guys. I cannot wait to get into it. Oh, and what is this again? It's a sweet. Sweet. You so, can try it. okay, so I dip the jalebi yes, in here. Yes. And this is a Punjabi style. Yes. Ooh, thank you. Look at that, guys. Whoa. Look at those jalebis. They are looking so good. And I've and never. Yummy. Yeah, and I've never had it dipped into this kind of a sweet. You guys can yeah, let me know in the comments if you've had that. Okay, hold on one minute. Okay. Let's first just appreciate. Move a little bit, baby. Can I put okay. you here? There we go. Look at these. Let's just appreciate these jalebis. Whoa. That looks so good. They're really hot, actually. Wow, how many jalebis? They looking like, good. There's three or four jalebis. See, one. See? Mm. It smells like four jalebis. It one, smells two, like four. <laughs> okay, guys, we're oh, gonna. Oh, actually, there's five underneath. Yeah. And then six. Okay, we are going to try it dipped into the sweet, but it's extremely hot. Um, here. I'm gonna have the first bite so I know if it's too hot or not. Ooh, this is interesting. Never had this before. Ooh. Okay. Is it good? Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. Jalebi just got way better. How? It just, with this, 
It's amazing. No way. We can't. We can't. Are you ready to try it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it tastes so much better. This like sweet at the bottom kind of balances out the sweetness of this one because yeah. this one's like pure sweetness. Isn't that tasty? Isn't that so good? <laughs> what do you rate it? <laughs> oh, it's dripping. Dripping deliciousness. I yeah. think I think Alfonso's excited about it. Very good dish, guys. Love the mixture. Mm. Can I have some more? Alfonso wants more. So there we go, guys. First dish at the Royal Sweets and Shop. Okay guys, Vivek is gonna show us how to make the samosa chat. This is like a deconstructed samosa. It has some chickpeas on it. Whoa. Look at that huge samosa. You make all these from That's scratch? Big. Yes, ma'am. Ooh. Wow. Smashing it. Wow. The small particles. Mm-hmm. That looks good. And yes. So good. Now I add the chickpeas curry. Okay, we're gonna add the chickpeas. Chickpeas. Nice. We add the sweet chutney, the tamarind chutney, mm -hmm. then the spicy chutney. You're good with little bit spicy? Yes. 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 And then the yogurt. Ooh. And the raw onions. Very nice. And then the sea. That makes it have a little bit of crunch, which is nice. Yes, ma'am. Makes it look good. presentable. Yeah. For customers. And now the final. The final topping. What is it? Oh. Cilantro. Oh, cilantro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> look at that, guys. That looks good. Uh -uh. Samosa okay. chat. This is big too. Thank yeah. you so much. Mine. <laughs> All right, guys. Vivek made a huge samosa chat. Well, the samosa itself looked very, very big. You see all that flavor that we're going to have? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's mix it up. I got it a little spicy, Alfonso. So we'll see. I'll let me try first. <laughs> Maybe there's a corner bit that's not as spicy. Ooh, it looks good. The chickpeas smell like Christmas. It's like warm and cinnamon, nutmeg. Mmm. Mmm. Is it spicy? Mmm. There's a little bit of spice, but mmm. I think you can handle it. Hold on, let me. Let me get a piece that doesn't have too much of that. Well, the green chutney that was spicy. Here you go, Alfonso. Big bite. Your mouth doesn't open as wide when it's not as sweet. We all saw it. <laughs> the jalebi, you opened your mouth big. <laughs> Guys, this is delicious. They have so many different. It's so pale. It's all kind of mixture. Ooh. What's this one called again? It's a Bombay Bell. Bombay Bell. Yes. Oh, it's like a puffed rice. There are is it? all the ingredients like we normally use for charts. Okay. And sauces and then onion and cilantro and the same. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you so much. Yay. Wow, guys. Classic Indian street food. It seems like it's from, oops, it seems like it's from Bombay. Bombay? Mm. I'm trying to get more samosa. Okay. Super delicious. Um, we're going to try. Alfonso's already going in. Okay, let's see. Wow, Bombay Bell. There's even some nuts. Okay, like Take a look at this. There's some pine nuts, maybe chickpeas. This Almost is, like some crackers. This, this looks like this. It's like compiled. It looks like a mm. tiny bowl with the same thing on it. Mm -hmm. see? Yummy. Yeah, yummy. Yummy. I taste a lot of nuts. 
and a little bit of spice, but not too bad. Really good. Look at the size of this. I feel like when we had it, thumbs up. <laughs> it's very good. Alfonso says, "What you don't spill on our jalebi." Mmm. We might have had this on the streets of Mumbai. We might have. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I just found out that like 70% of you are not subscribed. Can you believe that, Alfonso? He's dancing. He's still in jalebi yes, mode. I <laughs> um, so don't forget to hit that red button right here. We're going to go on amazing tours. So we're going to change it up. We're going to go to places I've never even seen before. Also, you guys have been commenting to let us know where we should go in Mumbai, where we should go in Hyderabad, where we should go in Bangalore. So, and let me know in Kochi too. Um, so keep sending me stuff because I'm taking pictures of it and then we're gonna go. <laughs> so don't forget to leave me a comment, hit that subscribe, and don't forget to eat your Indian street food because it is delicious. Yes. <laughs> so guys, we're on to the next snack. So this is the samosa. Look at how big this samosa is. Wrapped from hand at this restaurant. Then we got a kachori and ooh, the spiciness. He said that Indian people usually eat a bite and then they have uh, this very hot chili pepper with it. <laughs> and then we got uh, two kinds of chutneys. We got the tamarind and then a spicy mint one. Let's start with i'm gonna go for the kachori because we just had the samosa chat and i want to show you guys the inside of this Ooh, oh it's oh yeah it's flaky and there's like a big kind of a canopy inside like that oh very interesting i think i've had some sort of kachori where there's like some uh yogurt sauce on it or chutneys on top kind of like a chat version oh maybe it was that kachori chat or something all right let's try a little bit of the spicy one mmm 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 the breading is so good it is so good I love the bread crispy crunchy savory mm. let's see if I survive It's good because it's cooked a little bit with salt. Maybe as I go deeper into the chili, my life will change. It'll get more spicy. <laughs> okay, we're going to try it with the sweet chutney. Let's try it. So tamarind. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Spicy. Ooh, it's getting spicy in here. Mmm. Very good, guys. Love it. I'm loving how big this samosa looks. Nobody wants a small samosa, let's be honest. Let's rip it open. Mmm. Is there chickpeas in there? Oh no, maybe it's just potato. <coughs> spicy. <laughs> The chili's kicking in. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Maybe I'll give Alfonso the corner bit just because I love him. Alfonso, <laughs> I'm giving you my favorite part, the corner bit. You're welcome. Oh, his, his little tooth is falling out. Now let me put him. One of his teeth are falling out, so it's hard for him to eat a lot. I got the little corner bit. Let's drop it in. <laughs> How's the samosa? Is it good? Alfonso's super excited right now. He can't stop jumping around. <laughs> okay, let's do a bit of this filling because I haven't had really the filling. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. Love it. So tasty, guys. I mean, this place has everything. Sweet, savory, dosas. Um, curries they're also they're gonna renovate this place so um, the owners gonna shut it down for about a month they're gonna tear everything out they're gonna put a bunch of new stuff in and it's gonna be more of a sit-down restaurant 
Instead, right now, you just come to the till and you order and it's like a to-go. Um, so he's gonna up the level of the Royal Suites and chat, guys. We're gonna do a video on that, so don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> yeah! Okay guys, we're in the suite section now. Over 50 different suites and Vivek is gonna choose for us um, which ones he thinks are the best ones. <laughs> so, this is a Kalagan. Our, okay. uh, in uh, India, you can say the suite journey starts from the Kalagan. It's a basic, you can say in the, uh, in the suite uh, index, it's a starter. Okay, so let's, let's try it. Yeah, the first bite. Yes, one second. Let me put this back on me. Did I get it on? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Alfonso wants to try the first bite. <laughs> Is it good? I'm taking it from you. No. <laughs> Alfonso loves it. What does it taste like? Is your mouth full? You took too much. No. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very soft and... Um, Fuzzy a little bit. Fuzzy? Okay, I want to try it then, if it's fuzzy. He doesn't want to give it to her. <laughs> mm. Not now. <laughs> mm. Not very good. Is that a classic all over India? Yes. Mm. This is a milk cake. You must try mm. the milk cake. Milk cake. Milk cake. Ooh. Sounds really good. Right here, guys. The milk cake. Wow. So people can take desserts and put them in like little boxes. Uh, when people want to give someone, oh, gift. Then the gift box they use normally. Oh, okay. And normally, otherwise they want for themselves. Then they use the regular boxes. Okay, so, very like, cool. So you can gift some people um, some delicious Indian sweets. Mmm. Well, I love the texture. Yes. Ooh, it's kind of thick and has chew to it. Mmm, I think this will go really good with like a chai. Oh my gosh, Alfonso. I like this one even better. Yeah, try that one. I have like a tomato. It kind of has like a toffee. Yes. A toffee taste to it. I don't know how to explain toffee. It's kind of like a caramel, but try this, it's I so have, good. I have like a guitar made out of a sweet. Okay, try this one. This one has like a toffee taste. It's like a nice chew. I want to dip it in some chai. I don't know if that would be normal, <laughs> but the milk uh, cake is really good. Um, uh, it says right there. So yeah, good. We Should we see one more? Yeah. We'll have to do that. One more. Look at all these ones. Oh, that was so good. This one, this one. I want to go to India and have that milk cake there. Sandwich, you can Ooh. see made by the solid milk. Yeah, it's, uh, wow, uh, you can say the Bengali kind of sweet. Oh, Bengali kind of sweet. Yes. Ooh, a Malai cake, it's even kind of wet, Ooh, made from that milk. One second, I'm trying this one. Okay, mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm, very good, very good. Thank you. Wow, we've had Ras Malai, but not the Malai cake. And I don't know if we've ever had Bengali sweets. Alfonso, you want to try this? You know the Ras Malai? It's kind of similar, but it's like a cake. It's even sweeter than that one. Do you taste it? Is it me or does it have like a touch of rose? Rose syrup in there maybe. I pronounce this bad. Do this. <laughs> Alfonso pronounces it delicious guys so you guys have to come to the royal suites and chat they have so many things here and like I mentioned they're gonna um, reconstruct they're gonna bring renovate. renovate they're gonna bring new everything and they're gonna make it more of like a dine-in restaurant where you're gonna have servers coming up to you guys so thank you so much Vivek everything has been amazing love the place I can't wait to see it when it's renovated too Yes. <laughs> Lots of time here. Don't forget to get your sweets at the Royal Sweets and Chat. All right, guys. Great experience here at the Royal Sweets and Chat. The owner is so nice. Thank you, Vivette, for everything and all the chefs there. Amazing. They're going to renovate. So you're going to see a couple.
completely different restaurant you don't want to miss it guys hit that subscribe we are going to mumbai we are going to hyderabad we are going to bengaluru and kochi you do not want to miss it that is coming up very soon like subscribe and on that note just keep on dancing